Okay, so next uh, I'm going to just have a look at a few of the different uh, tests for convergence and divergence. Um, so in this video, possibly be using the comparison test, uh, the limit comparison test, the integral test, the alternating series test, um, theorem of absolute convergence, the ratio test, and also possibly to do with the P series and the geometric series. Okay, so these are the possible things that we need to be thinking about uh, for these questions. Okay, so here's the first question. Um, determine whether the series, uh, the sum of sine 1 over n, is convergent or divergent. Okay, so uh, it's a little bit difficult, this question. You might possibly think, first off, to try the comparison test. Um, but if you did try, uh, well, we, we get a boundary. We know that sine 1 over n is going to be between 1 and negative 1. But it's not obvious that we can find a function uh, bn that it's always going to be less than. Um, we're normally looking for something that like 1 over n or 1 over n squared, something like that. But we, we don't really have that for this situation here. Um, so we maybe think about another possibility. Um, which is the, the limit comparison test. Okay, so the limit comparison test is this one here. So let's just check we have the, the situation correct. Um, first off, a n, we need that to have positive. Well, sine 1 over n, when n is between 1 and infinity, well, that's when n is 1, that's going to be sine of 1. Well, that's positive. And then we have sine of a half, that's positive, sine of a third, sine of a quarter, all these values are positive, um, so so this is correct. So this is fine, um, and we use b n as one over n. Uh, the reason that we do that is because in a minute we have a little trick. Um, so basically, the reason we choose it is because it's the same as this thing here. So that's one over n. So we choose b n as one over n as well. Uh, if, for example, this was one over n squared. Uh, I think it would probably work with 1 over n squared. So, so that's the kind of the rationale behind that, this one. Okay, and then the, the limit comparison test is that we have, um, we, we see what happens basically is the limit as n approaches infinity of sine 1 over n over, and by function 1 over n. Okay, um, now 1 over n is basically this p series here. Now, when p is 1, so it's this situation here, we have a divergent series. Okay, so we know that this, this here will diverge, this, the, the series for, for 1 over n will diverge. Okay, so we see what happens. Um, and as it's currently written, it's a little bit hard for us to do anything with, but then if we make this substitution, and this is why we used, we used the term 1 over n, we set 1 over n is equal to u, and then we can rewrite this as, well, sine u over u. And also we need to check what happens to the limit. At the moment, n approaches infinity. Well, as n approaches infinity, 1 over infinity, that's going to get closer and closer to 0. So as n approaches infinity, u approaches 0. So I rewrite my limit. Instead of n, it goes to infinity. I'm now writing u goes to 0. So I, need, I now have this new limit here. Okay, it's the same thing, but just written in a different way. Okay, now I've got it looking like that. Uh, I noticed that actually I've got something where I can use L'Hopital's rule because I've got, uh, this will be a 0 over 0. So I can therefore differentiate the function, which gives me cos u over 1. Um, and then as u approaches 0, this gives me an answer of 1. And then let's just check uh, what my limit comparison test was actually saying. I've got it equaling a constant, so I've said the limit of n goes to infinity of my a n over b n, it gives me a constant and it's greater than zero, then both series either converge or diverge together. And since this uh, series here diverges, then my other series must also diverge. Okay, so there we go, that was the limit comparison test. Uh, next question. Um, show that the series, and then I've got a sum from 2 to infinity of 1 over n, and then brackets ln n all squared. 
I've got to show that that is convergent. Now, this is, is a particularly difficult question because they don't really give us any, any clues as to which uh, test uh, to use. Um, we do actually use the, the integral test for this one. Um, I suppose the, the clue possibly, it's similar to this one, which is the, uh, the, the sum of 1 over n and ln n. And you've probably seen an example like that in your textbook where, where we use the integral test for this one. So I guess that would be the clue that we're going to use the integral test for this one as well. Um, you might also notice that it, it satisfies these conditions. It's positive um, and it's a decreasing function. Um, so those are kind of a couple of clues that we might be using the integral test. Um, the reason why this is a difficult question is because once I've decided that I'm going to do the integral test, I actually have to do uh, like a u substitution. So in here, I'm going to say, well, uh, this is the integral that I want to do between 2 and infinity of 1 over x ln x squared dx. That's the integral I'm trying to make. So if I set u as ln x, and then I do du by dx is 1 over x, I can just rearrange that um, in terms of what du, uh, du is equal to 1 over x dx. Um, And then, basically, if I substitute these values in, um, I will end up with 1 over u squared uh, du. Okay, so basically the x is, I really should probably leave the x on this side to make it clearer. So dx is equal to x du. So I, I replace this dx with x du. And then, obviously, the x on the bottom, the x on the top will cancel out. Okay, so that's why... I use that substitution. So I end up with 2 to infinity of 1 over u squared. Okay, once I've got that, uh, it's a case of uh, integrating this function. Um, try and use the proper terminology, uh, which is this upper bound here. I actually write that it's the limit as a approaches infinity. So I, don't, I don't, shouldn't really put the infinity sign here. So this is the function I'm working out. Uh, and then I remember, obviously, that u is ln x, so I have to substitute that back in. Okay, so this is uh, what I've got. And there we go again. Um, and then you possibly find it easier just to, well, we can put in 2 easily enough, and we can put in a as well. It's normally easier to kind of rewrite it as a fraction just so you can see what's happening. And then we can see that as kind of a approaches infinity, well, obviously ln this number here is going to get a smaller and smaller, so bigger and bigger, so 1 over this big number is going to get smaller and smaller. So we're basically going to get end up with just 1 over ln 2. Okay, so we've basically showed that the integral from 2 to infinity of the function, it has a limit. Okay, and it's, it's this limit here, 1 over ln 2. And then if we just flick back to our... our content here which basically says that if if the integral is convergent and we satisfy satisfy these conditions which we have then the the series that we're looking at is also convergent okay so there we go so if this is convergent therefore this function is also convergent okay so that an example of the integral test and let's just have a look at one or more of these tests um, this one's a little bit easier, and it's only three marks, um, so we're, we're probably expecting something a bit easier for this one. Um, and this one is just a comparison test, so this is the easiest one. Basically, we just need to find some kind of um, function that is always greater than this function here. Okay, and we try and pick something simple that we already know about. So here we go, so this is the 1 over n bracket n plus 3, that's what I've got. I'd possibly rewrite it as 1 over n squared plus 3n. Now, I can see straight away that that is always going to be less than 1 over n squared. Okay, Because obviously when n is 1 or more, this is going to have a, a bigger denominator. Okay, So I already know that this is always going to be less than 1 over n squared for all n greater than or equal to 1. And I already know that 1 over n squared uh, converges, um, again, from the, from the p-test. So I know that this converges, therefore 
therefore if this converges then so does my other uh, series here okay so again just using the the basic idea of this one so it's basically a n is less than or equal to b n and if this is convergent then this must also be convergent okay so there we go that's the the comparison test